Good morning, boys and girls. Today's Bible lesson comes to us from the book of Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible in the Old Testament. It tells us how God created the universe and human beings, and it also tells us of God's promises to his people. Have you ever given a gift to someone who did not like what you had given him or her? How did you feel when they opened your gift and you saw the look of disappointment on his or her face? What kind of look did you have on your face? Was it a happy face? Was it a sad face? Or was it an angry face? Other people can often tell how we feel by the looks on our faces. Our Bible lesson today is about two brothers named Cain and Abel. They were sons of Adam and Eve. Cain was the older brother and Abel was the younger brother. When they grew up, Cain became a farmer and Abel became a shepherd. When it was time for the harvest, Cain brought some of his crops as a gift to the Lord. Abel also brought a gift to the Lord, the very best lamb from his stock. The Lord accepted the gift of Abel, but he did not accept the gift of Cain. The Bible doesn't tell us why the Lord did not accept Cain's gift. Perhaps Cain did not give the best that he had, or maybe his heart was not right with God. But whatever the reason, the Lord did not find Cain's gift acceptable. How do you think that made Cain feel? The Bible tells us that Cain was very sad and angry. The Lord took one look at Cain's face and asked him, Why are you so angry and why do you look dejected? The Lord continued saying, You will be accepted if you do what is right. And if you don't do what is right, sin is lying in wait for you, ready to pounce. It's out to get you and you've got to master it. Do you think Cain took control of his anger? No, he did not. The Bible tells us that sometime later Cain said to Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother and killed him. Cain's anger had taken total control of his life. God knew what Cain had done, and he knew that Cain must be punished. Your brother's blood is still on the ground. Your punishment is, is that nothing you plant in the ground will grow. You will just wander around the earth finding food wherever you can. So what can we learn from the story of Cain and Abel? We can learn that disobeying God brings trouble and unhappiness. But if we obey God, we can be happy while we live on this earth. We should also take notice that even though Cain was punished for the wrong that he did, God still loved him and protected him. He would not allow others to harm Cain. So let's all remember that as we go through our week and try to wear a happy face and do things that are pleasing to God. Let's pray. Father, we want our life to be acceptable to you. Help us to let you be in control of our thoughts and actions so that our gifts will be pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.